Okay, everybody, it's Custom Room 3 once again giving you uh, my three to four day review um, on the Bobby Boss Kinky Perm. And if you watch my last video, I pretty much introduced his hair. Um, like I said, it's called Bobby Boss and Bobby Boss Kinky Perm. So I got it from SansBeauty.com for $17.99. They're still doing that sale. I got me four packs, so it was a buy one, get one free. So I have two 16s and two 18s. I only used two 18s and one pack of the 16s. So I still have a little bit of hair left. Okay, the detail about the hair and how it's packaged. The packaging, and I will still I'll have some pictures somewhere inserted in this video so it can be in more detail. 9 out of 10 is probably, probably going to be at the end of the video. So, yeah. The package and come in a very nice, pretty cool package. If you watched my last video, you know what I'm talking about. But the bundles are really thin because what they did was they, um, in the middle, so you can have two bundles. That's all they did. It was really nothing special. Um, the hair is very nice. It was very nice. You have to remember, this is 100% synthetic hair. So, in the meantime, it's going to do what it does, which is tangle and knot up. But I have a method for to prevent that, and it's been working for me so far. The webs on this hair are good. I'm actually surprised because I think you can split the webs as well. I didn't split any webs. Um, Shedding is really not really being a non existent unless I comb it or whatever. That's about it. But the reason why I have shedding is because I did my two lace invisible part closure with it, of course. Even the young lady thought this was my real hair. And I even uh, told this one Caucasian male, he's like, Oh, you have such pretty hair. So thank you. He's like, How did you get it like that? I said, I bought it offline. <laughs> I don't care. I tell the truth 24 7 shit. I ain't got nothing to hide. But the, the hair is quite decent. Do so I think it's good enough to be in a sewing or a quick win? Quick weed? Uh, no, don't do it because you'll be pissed once again. I would recommend this style unless you want something really quick and, you know, easy right quick for like two or three days or whatever. Because I think they sell this hair in stores depending on your area for $9.99 a pack. So, that's pretty good. You get what you pay for. But, you know, I rock synthetic hair to the fullest. What made me really want to get this is because it kind of reminds me of the Kima Classic um, a hair, but I think the Kima Classic, Kima Classic is more, the luster is more low, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm trying to debate if I want to get it with my next check, depending on how my check is anyway. So, I did want, uh, yeah, kind of remind me to keep, uh, Kima Classic. But I didn't want to do what I did with that one, which is flat iron it after the texture was gone because it was. I used too much hair. I used two packs, which is way too full. And um, I ended up flat ironing it, and I didn't like it. Ended up giving it to my auntie. So I probably will buy the Kima Classic again. I'm not sure as of yet, depending on how my check is and depending on how I'm feeling. So yeah. What really got me attracted to this hair was the texture and the luster of it. It says it's supposed to be shed free, worry free, tangle free. Um, I think that's it. Shed free, worry free, tangle free, and frizzy free. Tangling, this is synthetic hair. Expect some tangling, especially in the neck of your head, because heat and clothing put it together and you get like a really nappy mess. But it ain't really nothing that a good comb. I recommend a white two comb to go with this hair. And if it gets a little too much for you, get you a blow dry baby yes i have blow dried this hair just like how it is with product because it was really um getting tangled for me for a little bit so of course i didn't want to lose this texture and flat iron and shit so um a particular young lady on here she told well she was talking about how this new hair that i want to try it's called deja vu uh blow dry it tamed the um look down so i was like you know what why not i really like this texture so i'm not gonna flat iron it so i might as well blow dry it and honestly it did a really good job because see because i couldn't even do this i would be like 
like that, it will still get through, but it'd be like a little knot. But now I can do this. And I would recommend if you really want a really sleek, shine look, use a water conditioner. Mix. Use a conditioner of your choice that you like with water. Nothing but water and conditioner for any hair, especially for synthetic hair. Especially if you want to keep the shine and the luster and the texture. Do not fly iron this hair because I love this texture. That's the reason why I bought it and all that stuff. Uh, once again, do not do this as a sewing or a quick weave because you will be pissed. Um, the only time I would do this is a sewing is this is a wig and you sew it down to the perimeter. This is a hot glue gun wig. Um, so far it's going pretty good for me. But like I said, I would only recommend this hair unless you just want something really like cute and natural looking for a few days and then just be about your business. That's about it. But so far the hair is pretty good for me because I blow dry this hair every three days i will blow dry this hair every three days to minimize to minimum the tangling of this hair because remember this is synthetic it may look like human hair may even feel like human hair but remember ladies this is synthetic this ain't the type of quick and go type of look you have to do a few things in order for this hair to act right um what do i do at night i pretty much Wrap a silk bonnet pretty much every night, or if I'm not going anywhere, I'll just wrap the silk bonnet on my head all day. So what I do is I take, pull it back, and I do this. Excuse my hairy armpits. So do that. Pull a little bond, put the silk bonnet, and I'm done. But other than that, the hair is really good. You know, for a quick, easy style, and I really like the luster. But if I would have spent human hair on this, it probably have been a little much. But hair is hair, ladies. So this is synthetic hair. So expect it to act like this. Only this time you can put heat on it. So if you really like the texture of this hair, I would just recommend to blow dry this hair as it is. Just dry it. Don't wash it yet because, you know, I still really like this hair. And I just don't feel like fucking with my hair, so this is what I had to do. So I don't mind blow drying every two or three days. That's just me. I spent some good damn money on it, so I'm not gonna let it go to waste, okay? So yeah. Excuse all the noisy background. That's my son watching on his tablet and I'm watching TV. So so far, what would I give this hair? I would give it maybe a seven, seven and a half, eight. And that's because I know what to do with it. Would I be curling this hair? No. Because I bought this hair for this texture. I don't see the point of trying to curl straight hair curly. If you really want curly hair, especially some fatty, just get you some hair and curl it day. Okay? Don't waste your time here. I mean, the only time I will curl this hair, unless I do the hot boiling method, I have a video on that as well. So, yeah, will I buy this but, hair again? But, yeah, I would. But, I'm actually kind of debating if I really want to uh buy another pack of this hair or not but like i said just look at it on your local beauty supplies and if you can't find it for your local beauty supply just go to samsbeauty.com they have it for a 17.99 um buy one get one free so you be getting four packs if you just they only have okay you would give four packs all together okay if you decide to do what i do which has got the 16 and the 18 that's the only list they have and the only colors that they have is a one one b a number two and a number four which is what i got because this is my natural hair color so yeah i hope this video was really in depth like um like i said if you really want a quick easy style for like two or three days and this hair will be good um no quick weave no sewing with this hair um how many packs to get a full style like i did three and a half packs but if you go to sam's Me it's pie you're gonna get four it's better safe than sorry but uh three and a half packs should be good if you want to use especially if you want to um do leave out and stuff which i don't do i don't do leave outs that's why i buy so much hair and all that stuff so what i highly recommend if you get like if you go to Sam's Beauty, if you go to a little uh, beauty supply, um, if you decided just to get two packs or whatever, I suggest you turn the into a bundle. I suggest you get a hot glue. You don't have to make it into one full track and be about your business. And like I said, 
I think two packs will probably be good, depending if you want to, depending how much you leave, leave your hair out. But if you want to like a full wig, like me, three packs would be good. Or if you get a Sam Beats fly, you get four. So yeah, better safe than sorry. The luster is beautiful, of course. It's just need to be taken care of. It's really how you really take care of your hair. That's it. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. You didn't get scared by my hairy armpits and shit. So, yeah. All right. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about this hair or want more information about this hair, just let me know. I'll give you some questions. It's only been like, I installed this hair. I feel pretty lazy. Friday? Maybe? Maybe Saturday? I don't know. But I haven't had it that long. So, yeah. To keep this texture once again. Get you a good blow dry. And if you want to really minimize the uh, tangling, get you a good blow dryer. And get you, water, get you make your own conditioner. And uh, conditioner and the water. Conditioner of your choice and water. That's the best thing for any synthetic care conditioner and water. Just that. Don't waste your money on buying some hair, buying some um uh, products that said it's for synthetic hair because it has oil in it and it's not really that good. So good water and conditioner mix in a spray bottle and your blow dryer and you're good to go. Like I said, do this every three, two to three days and wrap it up with a bonnet every night and you'll be straight. I guarantee you enjoyed this video. Any questions? Sleep and come below. Bye bye. Um, I came up with a method that will knock out these um tangles in all synthetic hairs. Now, as you can see, this one side is smooth. It went through my fingers and all that stuff. And this other side, you know, it's kind of hard. Well, um. What I'm about to show you is crazy, but it works because, remember, this side is really nice and smooth. Go through my fingers. This side, you know, it's kind of hard. Not hard, but you have to, you know, take your time and go through it. Now, remember, this is still synthetic hair, so it's going to act what it, you know, do. So, this method, how to keep this all nice and smooth on this side. <laughs> Your girl has blow dried the hair. Yes, I have blow dried the hair because I realized that it was going, it was kind of acting up where it was like tangle. Keep in mind, this is synthetic hair. So what I did was I just got me a blow dryer. Any blow dryer would do. Um, I got the hotter, hot and hotter Pro 2000 Crematic Touch right here, and it has three settings, which is on, is which is off. On, low, and high. So yeah. So on this side it has off, on, and high. I think. And the other side it has cold, warm, and hot. So we're this is on uh, warm as we speak. So what I do is I take a part. I go. I set my my uh blow dryer on high. And I keep it on warm. And I do this. What I do, and as you can see, it is putting the hair back to its natural state. Gotta get that tangle out. Okay. Let me try that again. I'll put on love. And since the two days of me having this hair, no, I haven't put any product or nothing. Do not put any product in this hair. Whatever, just let it do what it naturally does. If this hair, any synthetic hair that can take heat, I suggest you 
take advantage of that, especially straight hair. No, I do not plan to curl this hair because it's a synthetic and I didn't buy it to curl it. I buy it to wear its natural texture. And no, the hair is not wet. This hair is definitely not wet. I'm doing it while it's dry. I know this is a little ratchet, but I spent some good money on this hair. And I'm definitely not going to let my money or your money go to waste if you decide to purchase this hair. So just remember how it was earlier, how it was somewhat hard to put my fingers through this hair. But look, see that? See that? See that? Oh, hold up, I get some more back here. Just suspect the the tangling. Well, not that tangling, like it get gnat up on the neck. Just suspect that with tank with a uh, synthetic hair. But look, I did it on this side. That's smooth. About to go through the right again. Put it on low. And this is a wig that I'm wearing. A wig that I wear as a sewing or whatever. So anytime that I have the urge, that I have that urge where it's getting really frizzy and tangled in the back, even though I only had this hair in for two days, I just get pretty much just get you a blow dryer that um, can get the job done. Just look at that. Because every time, I think that's what, what um, I went wrong with the Kima Classic. I flat ironed the hair and it totally lost its texture. So I figured like, why not blow dry it? Alright, I think that's enough for right now. Put the blow dryer down. See? No problems, no tangles. It actually like the um it's pretty good damn hair if you take care of it. Now, I don't know if this hair would do good for sewing because like I said, this is synthetic hair. So, you know, synthetic hair can go either way. Still got the little patch before. So synthetic hair can go either way, but instead of flat ironing it, I don't want to lose this texture. And it kind of mind you of a blown out. What's really? Go ahead. It's my son coming in the bathroom. So, look at that. Remember how I was in the beginning. Go ahead, flush the toilet. Thank you, sweetie. This is my son. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, okay, boy. Put your feet down. Go ahead and go play. Uh, yeah, so, just remember how I was in the beginning. To keep the texture of this hair going, get you a blow dryer. Blow dry this hair good and it should be straight. But like I said, remember that this is hold on, sorry. That this is synthetic hair. Regardless of how it looks and feels, even though I was talking about how it looks and feels, this is still synthetic hair. Remember that. This is only synthetic hair because uh, synthetic hair has evolved. So if it get like textured like this. Then I will have no problem getting this again. I like it. Especially since my new method. Well, not new, but, you know. I would not do this hair no damn quick wig. I wouldn't do it in sewing. I would do it just a straight up wig because what I don't like about these people who get hair as synthetic as a sewing or a quick wig. They do a video about it saying how it's shitty and this and that. That bitch is synthetic hair. And if you don't take care of it the proper way and do little tips and tricks with it, then it's going to act shitty. Let me do this on high. I'm gonna get so many 
comments. Okay, so yeah. Remember I did this exact same method. Flowing through. Flowing through. So, I would recommend this hair, especially if you want like a realistic, um, a more natural feel to it. I got this from samsbeauty.com. They have a buy one get one free sale. They still gonna be doing that sale. Cause I don't want y'all to waste your money and I definitely don't want my money to go to waste. Because I ain't got no time to waste a bunch of money on some hair because that's why I'm here for y'all. For these methods, especially in my nightgown. You know, working out these methods for you so we can save up our money and all that stuff. Because if you were to actually get human hair like this, yeah, it'd probably be better. But you probably get you a few, maybe run you like a two, two, yes. three hundred dollars worth. But look at that, y'all. Look at that. After I blow dry it. Look at that. You just have to you have to learn tips and tricks to take care of it actually. That's all. So yeah. When you feel a little knot and tangle or whatever, just get you a blow dryer. Um and just go through it. Do not wash this hair. Do not add anything to this hair. Just get you a crematic uh tech blow dryer. Go through this bad boy and the tangles are gone. Because I'm about to um, order me some Kima Classic hair. And I'll probably order some more of this hair too. Still kind of debating on that. I don't know yet. I still want this hair, especially while it's on sale. You can't beat a sale. Especially pathetic hair. Alright. So like I said, it's really good hair. You just need to come up with some tips and tricks to um, get it to work right. Now, ever since I blow dry this hair, it is like feeling good. It's back to where as if I just got out, um, as if I just took it out the package. So, like I said, people, this is synthetic hair. I'm gonna re I'm gonna tell that to y'all again. This is synthetic hair, and also, the wefts on this hair, they're pretty decent. So, yeah, they're pretty good. They're not as thin as the Kima Classic. They're actually more um, stable than the Kima Classic. So, after I fucked up the Kima Classic and flat ironed it because I used two full hole packs where I could have just used one, you know, it was just straight up, you know done for but I'm gonna give you some more of that came in class and plus I gave it to my auntie and she loves the hair so I won't be getting that anytime soon but if my check is decent then I'll buy me the Kima classic so yeah um the whole 18 two 18s in the back two packs of the 18s were good enough about here now if you're a leave out type of chick then that's f good for you when you're working with this type of hair um because that it's small little bundles. All they did was took a long ass track and just cut it into to make it look like bundles. That's what the hell they did. That's all they did. So I highly recommend if you a hot glue gun wig making chick like me, I will hot glue gun the two tracks together so I have one full bundle. So it can make it like one full bundle. So instead of getting eight pieces of hair, you'll have four pieces of hair just in like full bundles. So yeah, I'm happy that I came up with this method. You know, so it's doing great. So I spent some good money on it and I plan not to go to waste. So yeah, who would have thought to blow dry um synthetic hair? It's heat resistant and it's just feel as good as if I took it out the pack. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh we'll just go from there. <laughs>